go across, around, up, and down. Here's the B, going up, around like that. So I'll show you again, go right up, it's a tall letter. And so that little bit there looks a little bit like that B, the lowercase b. I'll show you how that's our printing, but this is how we do our carry cursive. We go up for the stick and then down to the bottom line in the train tracks and then around and a tail. And that's the tail that's going to join on to another letter. Now the C needs to stay between the train tracks and it goes around and around like that and that's the tail. That kick there is what's going to be joining on to the other letters here. I'll do it again. Across, around and a kick. Now the D looks like the A, but it goes up tall. So again, around, like the A, but up taller, down and a little kick. And the kick is the bit that's going to join onto the other letters. E is pretty, pretty easy. E, E, it's just like the E with printing, and it's got a tail here from joining onto the previous letter, and a tail here to join onto the next letter. F, going up, down, and a kick. So this second, this part here, down, needs to be pretty straight. And it goes right up to the top red line and goes down to the bottom red line. So I'll see if I can get it in these two lines. There we go. That's, oh, it's a bit too small. Up to the top, down, top red line. That's the way it sits. So that straight line down the back of the F and then these two are curved. So I'll show you again. This is the curved bit. Straight down curved bit tail. Okay we're up to the G. So here we go. We, it's a, like the A. We go around then it up and then down. That looks a bit like the printing G doesn't it? But then we add the tail on. So I'll do a proper one. So around up to where we started down to the bottom red line and then a kick and that's the kick that's going to join onto the next letter so around like the a up to where you started down to the bottom red line and then the kick the tail h h so it's like the printing h but we add a curl at the beginning and a kick at the end so here we go Curl, down, and the kick. H. I'll do one more because it is a bit tricky getting that curl. So we go further than we want to go, forward, and then down, straight. The down part is straight. And then we go up. Oops, that wasn't right. <laughs> I took my finger off. Really need to take your, to keep your pencil on the paper for the whole time, don't we? So up, down, and kick. There, that's my favourite. I'm going to give that a little tick. So we went around the front bit and then straight down, up and over, and kick. That's the H. Now the I is pretty easy. It's like a... a oops, here's my little dot. There we go. <laughs> it's like... A printing letter I but again it's just got the tail at the beginning and a tail at the end I'll do another one for you I J it's like the I only the tail of the G so we go up down and kick okay you three I'm gonna go a bit faster I know we're up to L so here we go L is a tall letter it goes right up to whoops that's a bit too fat That's my favourite one. L, M, I know you've been practising these. N, O, P, P. I sometimes do the tall, tall P, but up here there's the shorter P. Either is fine. Q. It's like the A to start with and it goes down but then kicks that way. 
arm, point rounded top at the beginning, pointy at the end. The second one is pointy, so rounded top, point and kick. S. I love the S's. Straight up, round, and you can do a little kick as well. T, up, nice and tall, and a tail. Nice and tall, and a, and a little belt. T. U. U. You can actually do a soft top for the U. And then the V. like that so the U goes right down to the bottom train track but the V stays up high just like the R tail the U tail stays up high too and the W tail stays up high as well X Y soft top pointy top tail and Z I like it because it's a bit, a little bit curvy. That bit straight, the middle bit straight, but the other two are a little bit curvy. The other way that you can do a Z is like that. Looks like the number three, only it goes down to the bottom red line and has the tail like the G and the Y. Go for it, guys. I want to see your beautiful handwriting. Well done.